Hello YouTube, hope you've all been well. My name's Billy, I'm a part-time reseller and this is Hidden Gem Reselling. Uh, I've got a new intro that I've just made um, so I've been waiting to say this. Run the intro. So today's video um, is all about my favourite sales of 2020 um, so far, so that's January and February. It's not the most expensive sale that I've had, just the more interesting ones, the more I, the more type of items that you're likely to come across um, and be able to flip for a, for a profit. I do apologise that the, uh, the video is grainy, I use StreamYard to um, sort of get around doing the YouTube editing which takes up too much time um, but I've only got a little free trial on StreamYard to be able to use this function um, so I thought I'd give it a go I uh, do also apologise I've had a cold throughout the week so uh, a bit sniffly but yeah here we go hope you enjoy the video okay so here we go sorry if it is a bit grainy I'm using StreamYard um to do the screen share just so that i don't have to do the editing and stuff on youtube and hopefully in the future i can do a few live streams um so yeah this is my favorite 10 sales from the year so far um it's not in any particular order it's not the highest sales that i've had well one of them is the highest sale that i've had um but it's stuff that's easily available for you to be able to find out in the wild things that crop up all the time that you can um that you can you can view so first of all we have um bt 4000 big button cordless phone um i picked these up for it would have been no less than a fiver in a charity shop so it would have been around i think it was about 3.99 i would say that i paid for them um all work in nice clean condition um got the full asking price of 48.99 um plus postage which was nice um yeah when it comes to um house phones and stuff like that i like to pick up the um if there's a bundle of them of the same because a, a lot of the time you've got to watch out for with um with phones like this people package their or people put their old phone in their new phone box i've had it before where i've bought a phone expecting it to be the one in the box even opening the box and having a look at it quick thinking yep that's the right phone sometimes it isn't so just keep an eye out when you're um when you're buying these yeah there was all working there was nice clean condition didn't sit around for long i think i had them for i think they sold in their first 30 day cycle yeah, that was a nice, nice sale. Um, on to the next one. Pitch. I put this in before. Picture doesn't look very good. I think it might just be the laptop settings. I'm not sure. It looks really bright. Um, but I picked this up for again. It was around, around about a five or maybe less. It was in one of my older, older videos. Um, this sold in January, so it was around about a month i had this for again um and that went for the full asking price as well oh, sorry my cat's deciding to climb everywhere um yeah these are good things to look out for um it was an olympus uh digital voice recorder so like a, a, a dictaphone put in a keyword there uh student um yeah not much more to say about that really it was working it had a tiny had a couple of little cracks on the screen little chips but it didn't it didn't stop it getting that price if this was brand new and sealed i think it was going up for around about 100 pound but look, even with the chips and i'll put it in the description about it as well it was in nice condition it was just a cut that those two i think the pictures make it look worse than what it actually was yeah, five pound into into forty eight quid. That was good. 
Um, I think we're coming on to my favourite sale. So I didn't achieve one. I, I took an offer. We went back and forward. I took an offer of 190. Yeah, 190, I think it was. Um, so nice little story about this. I was in my one of my favourite charity shops. Um, and I found a couple of items, took them to the counter and went to went to pay for them. And I could see she, the lady was pricing up, um, was pricing up some items. And this one here was at the bottom of a bundle. And as soon as I see on the side of the box, I don't know if there's a thing there. On one of the sides of the box, it says Bandai. As soon as I see Bandai, I'm thinking, oh, what could it be? Vintage Power Rangers or... And it ended up saying Steamrolled Roller. So I um, quickly got my phone out and had a... I had a search on completed, and these had achieved. Um, a couple of them were new, were were new like this, but on bidding, and they'd achieved the 125, 130 mark. Um, but with a few different bidders, so I knew that this was it was sought after. I asked her how much it was. She said it's not for sale. They're about to refurbish the shop. Um, so we're going to take it downstairs and we're going to bring it out. I was thinking, oh god, I've got to get this. It's over a hundred pounds worth of worth of stuff. Went outside the shop, um, waited outside the window, skulked around a little bit, looked inside the shop, and waited for the lady to go. Hopefully, I could catch somebody else. Got the lady left. I ran inside the shop, was moving a few clothes rails about, thinking, oh. I'm looking for some clothes. Well, it's a new lady. I said, oh, is that is that for sale under the counter? She said, oh, yeah, if you want it, you can have it. Three pounds. I was thinking, bloody hell, three quid. Take that, snap your hand off for it. So, yeah, pay three pounds for it. Listed up for 199.99, so 200 pounds. Um, I had a couple of offers around about the 140 mark, which I should have took. Um, but I knew that this... This was quite rare and sought after just because of the amount of people bidding on them and there was none available that was in brand new condition so that everything was sealed in its wrappers everything was brand new yeah lovely item um someone offered me 180 i come back with 195 he come back with 190 and i took it sent it to him um it gave me good feedback and I did he did mention that he had to hide it from the missus which I'm pretty sure I'd have to hide anything that if I was to buy something for 190 quid that was old and a model I'd have to hide it from from my missus too but yeah he um he also sent me a couple of pictures of um other ones that he'd made so yeah, it's a nice sound. Somebody was happy and appreciated it. And I got um, a nice bit of profit. Um, next is this Pentax M7, M, MZ30 uh, 35mm SLR camera. Um, yeah, not much to say about this. I got this from a charity shop again. I think it was it was less than a five hour. It was in the same charity shop as I got the, the Bandai model from. Um, this was in one of my my last videos. Yeah, the pictures are coming up really, really bright. I don't know if they're like that in real life, the way that I'm editing the pictures. But on my phone, they look okay. Yeah, from five pounds to forty five. Happy with that. Got good feedback. Um, it took less than less than a month to sell. Perfect. Again, this was in one of my my previous pickup videos. It was a, it's a Logitech driving force steering wheel and the pedals um, compatible with the PS2 and PS3. I paid a fiver for it, picked it up from outside. The, it was outside the charity shop as I was walking past, um, grabbed it, took it inside. The lady mentioned that it was her son's. Um, I looked inside, the pedals and the steering wheel were there. It came with a game and inside the game was a memory card. Um, so yeah, win-win all around. It went it went via GSP um, to I want to say Italy. 
I would have a look now, but I don't want to compromise the personal details of the of the person. Oh, I do apologise. I've had a bit of a cold this week. Um, yeah, everyone's cottoned on, as George Ross says, to the CRT um, TVs for what normally is retro gamers that buy them. Um, this was a freebie from work. Uh, they were throwing it away, so I said, "Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it home and see if it works." Yep, yeah, worked lovely. Um, came with the remote, nice, clean condition. Yeah, nice and clean, as you can see. With the remote, um, I didn't achieve eighty-nine pound. I got sixty-nine pound for it. Um, a woman said she was but she was selling it. Oh, she was buying it for her for her nan to watch her old videos. I'm always a little bit sceptical when people give a, a bit of a sob story, but she was genuine, packaged it up, got good feedback, and that's great. Um, I just want to show you the rest of the pictures of this one. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't realise I could press them. The lovely item. It was wicked. It was all sealed with the, uh, with the manual. Yeah, brilliant bit of kit. Um, vintage typewriter. Um, paid a fiver for this. Um, where did I pick this up from? Again, I think yeah, it was it was um it was the same charity shop. But one now they've no they they recently refurbed, so they they opened again. I think it was seventh or eighth of Feb. I've still picked up a few bits from there because um you can't always or they they can't always check every single item. So I've got a few good things from there, but they've had a a few items out that if it was before the refurb they would have been listing them for five ten pound and a couple of things that i've seen in there um would have gone for over 100 pound but now they're listing those things up at 50. they've got a lego techniques set in there they've listed it or they've, they've priced up at 100 pound and on ebay they go brand new they go for 75 quid so they're just trying to claw some money back. I was speaking to one of the women in there. They're trying to claw some money back from the refurb. So hopefully the prices start going down soon. So it's like a little gold mine in there. But yeah, this um, this Smith Corona portable typewriter. I paid a fire before it. Um, yeah, it was a Smith Corona Corsair. Corsair. Yeah. Needs a new ribbon, but... The ribbon that was in there, I managed to get some letters out on a bit of paper, so I knew it was definitely working. Yeah, I've got some got good feedback from the um, from the buyer as well. I did, I took an offer on this. I think it was forty five. Yeah, so five into forty five is it's brilliant. I've sold a few Hot Wheels things now, so I think that's one one to look out for. So I paid three pound for this. From a from a charity shop, um, and my surprise, it was a hundred percent complete, and I achieved the the full asking price, so thirty nine ninety nine. I had offers on, but the person bought them. I set it up, which did I set? No, I didn't set it up. I, I checked all the pieces were there using the manual. So yeah, there's a couple of because it's a vintage. A vintage set. Um, I don't know if you can see on there. Got a few marks and scratches to the metal of the um, of the cars. But yeah, three pound into forty quid. Lovely jubbly. Um, this is just recently sold. I sold this a few days ago. Um, I paid two pound for it. I was walking past a charity shop, it just started to rain, and this was outside. It's new and sealed. Um, super cricket game by Ideal. I couldn't get the, what, does it say the year on it? I see it was new and sealed with its original seller fame. Oh, the plastic film, had a little dent to the box there. Um, but yeah, two pound. I had best offers on, but it went for the, the full asking price of 50 quid. I just sent out an offer to somebody and within five, um, I think it was a 44 or 45 pound. Um, 
and within me offering them that somebody unless it was the same person bought it for the full asking price it's gone um no it's come it's it's in the uk yeah um super cricket game new old stock as we always say um anything that's retired is what pumps the price up it makes it more rare so yeah that's a nice one um i think last but not least um is this lego 76081 superheroes uh, guardians of the galaxies um set so just after christmas i think it was well, i say just after christmas i think it was um mid january i was having a look on facebook marketplace and a lady listed up a load of new sealed stock that they of new sealed toys that they were clearing out so i spent um i spent 50 quid with her and i got 10 things so this owes me this owes me a fiver so from five pound brand new and sealed retired lego set I achieved £95.99p. There were a few on there that were sealed around the £80 mark, but I don't know. They must have, I don't know, liked my pictures or... I don't know. They, they went with me with... And I had offers on, but they didn't they didn't send an offer. Um, yeah, a couple of the other things that I've already sold. Um, so I've got... A couple of brand new Nerf guns that were worth about twenty five to thirty each. Um, there was a Groot singing, dancing Groot toy that I've listed for seventy or sixty nine ninety nine. Not had any interest in that yet, so I might have to lower it soon. It's been it's been just over a month, so so yeah. yeah so there we have it um those were my favorite sales of uh 2020 so far um it's going good i'm enjoying doing it doing it like i said i'm doing it as uh part-time um hopefully when the boot sales come i can carry on getting that stock in i'm researching i'm taking risk on things that I've not seen before and it's working out. So I'm getting that gut instinct. The gut instinct is actually having some, um, some relevance. So yeah, um, hopefully you liked the video. I'm going to try and do these, um, on a monthly basis. I'll try and do it at the end of each month. Um, I'll do a sales roundup of that particular month. Um, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully you'll in, you'll enjoy and hopefully I can keep selling. Um, happy hunting. Thank you very much for watching.